Hello everyone. First of all, I would like to tell you all sorry for the delay in this video because I was not feeling well. Uh, thank you all for your uh, get well soon wishes. Now I am doing better. Here I want to plan our journey from GPSTR 2022 to GPSTR 2023. Firstly, I congratulate all the GPSTR aspirants who have qualified in GPSTR 2022 and I would request others not to give up. Let's try again for GPSTR 2023 and this time let's try harder. If you are a HSTR, TAT aspirant or a PU college recruitment aspirant, then you must watch this video along with GPSTR aspirants because it is going to help everyone who are willing to attempt a competitive exam. So please do watch this video completely till the end. Before starting, I would like to remind you all to to please subscribe to the channel if you are new or you are watching my video first time and also do like and share this video okay let's start with a happy and a lighter note by congratulating few of our subscribers and friends who came out with flying colors in gpstr 2022 actually there are many more comments i apologize for not picking up your comment First only I am telling you. Actually I have randomly picked a few comments. So if your comment has not been picked, I am sorry. If I am not mentioning about you, I am sorry. In advance only I am giving you congratulations to all whoever have qualified and also to all who have tried but couldn't do this time. I want to congratulate all of you now only because I am sure that you all will do it in 2023. Okay. So, here I am going to read out a few comments indicating the achievements of our GPSTR aspirants. Rukmini R. She has scored 73.07% in GPSTR PCM. She is writing, Hi ma'am, I got 73.07 in GPSTR PCM. All your videos helped me a lot in my preparation. Thank you so much ma'am. Congratulations Rukmini, I am very happy for you. Next is Banu A. She writes that, Good evening ma'am, I got 78% in GPSTR. I remain grateful for your efforts for making me to score well. You have guided me till last minutes. You have guided me till last minutes exams. Very much blessed to have a teacher like you in my life. Heartful love for you have. Thank you so very much. And so many emojis and a bouquet also in that emoji. And a thank you symbol also is there. Uh, Banu, I am very very happy for you. Congratulations. Kudos to you. You have scored 78%. It's not a, a small achievement. It's a big achievement, I must say. Congratulations. Then Jyoti Hugar. She says, Hello ma'am, I gave GPSTR this year. I had very little time to prepare as I had just passed out. I just relied on your physics videos within limited time. Today I got results. 75.99%. I am grateful for you ma'am. Congratulations Jyoti, I am also glad that you have scored so good percentage, 75.99%. It's a very, very nice score. Then also I am really overwhelmed and glad that I could be a little part of all your success friends. This is a really very happy moment for me. Few more are there uh, who have written in the telegram channel. Congratulations to Janvi Yam. She is scoring 77.8% in PCM. Then Shilpa Santosh. She is scoring 73.5% in Biology. Means it is Biological Sciences. Then Pooja Ms. She is scoring 72.95% in Maths and Science. Kudos to all of you. I am really happy for you all. 
ஆக்சுவலி ஐ கண்டக்டட் ஏ போல் இன் மை டெலிகிராம் சேனல் ஐ ஆஸ்ட் அபவுட் த ஜிபிஎஸ்டிஆர் ரிசல்ட் ஐ டோல்ட் ஆல் ஆஃப் தெம் டு டெல் மீ ஹவு வாஸ் தேர் ரிசல்ட் ஐ காட் செவன்டி ஃபைவ் வோட்ஸ் அண்ட் ஐ ஆம் வெரி வெரி ஹாப்பி டு சி தட் எயிட்டி பர்சென்ட் ஆஃப் தோஸ் செவன்டி ஃபைவ் பீப்புள் ஹாவ் குவாலிஃபைடு சிக்ஸ் பர்சென்ட் ஆஃப் தெம் ஹாவ் ஜஸ்ட் மிஸ்ட் இட் அண்ட் டுவெல் பர்சென்ட் ஆஃப் தெம் ஆர் கேப்பபிள் பட் தே குடன் டு டூ இட் ஃபார் சம் ரீசன் அண்ட் ஜஸ்ட் ஃபோர் பர்சென்ட் ஹாவ் நாட் குவாலிஃபைடு friends i would like to tell all of you the people who have voted here the 75 people and all the rest of people who have not voted or who are not my subscribers just to whoever are the gpstr aspirants friends don't worry we will do it next time and i am sure you will succeed this time just you have to remember that now these results should make you all think think about what think about why you could not qualify why you just missed why you are capable but couldn't qualify it this thinking capacity will lead you to ideas then those ideas will make you try and do it do it again and again and keep doing which will surely lead you to success I received many mails as I asked to do so in the Telegram channel. I asked everyone to write down the marks. Mail me if they are not comfortable writing in Telegram or YouTube comments. So I got many mails from GPSTR aspirants regarding their marks, how they qualified or how they did not qualify or why they could not do it. I am very very happy that you all have shared your marks with me. It's not a small thing friends because see, sharing the marks with someone else is a big deal especially when your marks are less when you have not qualified this is the first step towards your success means you are confident that you will do it next time okay the reason why i asked uh, all of them to share their marks is mainly because i wanted to know how many of them have not qualified because i wanted to help them the way i did this year i wanted to do it the next year also means uh, for the 2023 exam also for me whoever have qualified is not a big deal for me because maybe they are capable but who have not qualified or who have just missed or who are capable and could not qualify for me those people are important i have a special place for them in my mind because i want them to clear gpstr because this is not a big deal friends this is not a tough exam at all i believe that everyone who will work hard in a proper way will be able to crack this exam okay i want to be with you all that's the reason why i am making this video also today okay so i was telling about the mails right i got many mails from gpstr aspirants but one mail i received was not from a gpstr aspirant this is the mail i am not mentioning her name because she had mailed me it's a personal mail right i don't want to mention her name maybe if she is interested and if she will watch this video if she will let me know i can mention her name also in the comment section but this mail it motivated me a lot that's why i am not taking her name here but still i would like to read out this mail and i want to share it with you all she writes that i have completed my msed from physics from rie mysore in 2021 and could not write gpstr because i got my passing certificate late since it was 6 years integrated course i feel so bad for this one of my friend shared your video he asked me that is this your sister because of similar voice and that is where the first video i watched and then i started learning from your videos videos are very helpful and the way you guide us by telling i am there with you all give me a positive feel and motivation i can understand how much effort and time is required to create a video i am so thankful to you ma'am i would expect more videos on kset and pu college recruitment 
I feel so connected to you. I would like to call you Akka if you don't mind. Thank you so much Akka. Sure, you can call me Akka and thank you Tangi and all the best to you. I will surely help you in KSET and PU college recruitment exam also. See, this may know somehow it touched me because it is really relating to me. I can feel that she can understand how much effort I am applying. Many of you may be knowing that making video is not easy friends. But then this effort is very 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 small and worthless if you all are not happy with your exams. Okay. I want you all to be happy after writing your exam. That is my main aim. I want you all to enjoy your exam. I want you all to enjoy the preparation of your exam. The journey of preparation should be so adventurous and fun that it should make you all feel happy while preparing for the exam. This is my motto. Uh, okay. Now let's come back to our matter of concern. Firstly, let's discuss how to solve a objective paper. Objective paper means one question will be given and four answers will be given. They, they are also known as multiple choice questions. You have to choose one option from that given four options. Okay. Now, the tips which I am going to give now is for all teacher recruitment exams. Okay. In all exams, which all have the objective paper. Okay. Like HSTR is there, TET is there, PU college recruitment is there, even for KSET also. So, the first tip which I am going to give for objective paper is that you have to read the entire question properly. These tips you have to keep in mind not only while writing the exam but also while preparing for the exam. You should practice reading the entire question properly while preparing for the exam. See, if I make the video of these tips just before the exam, it will not help you. That's why I am making it right now because if you start preparation for HSTR, GPSTR, TET, KSET, PU college recruitment, whatever the competitive exam is there, while preparing for the exam only, you, if you have habit of reading the question properly, surely you will do it in the exam also. That is what I believe. Okay. So, the first tip is that you should read the entire question properly. Means, you have to read each question thoroughly before going for the options before reviewing the given four options first read the entire question means i mean to say that you have to understand the question you can read the question two times three times four times or five times also important thing is that you have to understand that question okay and when you read the question if you are not able to understand leave it there only and go for the next question because of that one question which you are not understanding don't spoil your rest questions Okay, that one question will cut only your one mark. But you will have many more questions ahead which will give you many marks. So, you have to read that question. If you are not understanding, leave it there only and move ahead. This is a tip for the exam, not for the preparation. For the preparation time, you need to practice everything, right? Next tip is, after reading the question and reviewing the options, you have to answer it first in your mind. You should have one imagination and you should finalize one answer which will be in your mind. This you can do by eliminating the wrong answers. Maybe you are not sure of the right answer but you will be sure of the wrong answers. You remove those wrong answers. By removing one by one the wrong answers also you can come to the final correct answer. You should practice all this while preparing for the exam. Okay. See if you are reading one portion. Say for example, you have read the sound. Now you are answering the MCQs from that chapter sound. At that time, you have to follow these tips. So that you will get used to following those rules. And finally, you will do it in the final exam also. Okay. Means the final GPSTR, HSTR or any other competitive exam also. Okay. Next is, I told you earlier also this tip. You have to answer the questions you know first. Which you don't know, you leave and you go ahead. You can come back later. Because of those few questions which you don't know, you should not spoil the rest of your exam. This will lead you to anxiety. And many of your answers will go wrong. That's why you have to answer the questions first you know. Calmly you have to do it. 
now maintaining that calmness also you have to practice you have to practice while preparing for the exam this is not a thing which will change just overnight in one night or in one day you can't change this this needs to be followed and gradually by continuously following these rules you will get used to you will get habit of doing that is what i am telling okay next is if you don't have any negative marking you can answer all the questions but then at the last not in the starting okay the last but not the least very very important thing is you have to learn to manage your time while preparing for the exam only you learn to manage your time then in your exams also you will manage your time how you manage is up to you okay because see everyone will not uh have same capacity everyone will not have same grasping power everyone will not have same understanding capacity so you take your own time but you have to manage your time by yourself then only it will help you all okay so these are the tips which i am giving you to solve the objective paper any subject paper either it is science maths economics anything any question paper the same tips you have to follow okay now let's talk about how to give answers in a descriptive paper why i am giving this descriptive paper means gpstr people have to write one descriptive paper also hstr people and kset people and few college recruitment they don't need but gpstr people need this they have marks for descriptive paper okay this is one unique examination like kas they ask for descriptive answers so the tips according to me are first you read the question carefully and analyze the topic just blindly reading question one time and start writing don't do that that will lead to wrong answers that will lead to bad handwriting that will lead to many mistakes and then again scratch that will lead to uh, your paper becoming dirty so all this chaos happens that's why read the question carefully and analyze the topic okay then you can make an outline and note down the important points separately that also you can do that you can do it in the margin maybe you can write some keywords also or you can do it everything in your mind everyone cannot do it in mind better you write some keywords in the margin you have to practice all this while preparing for gpstr you should start doing this right now okay i am not telling this to do in the final exam only not in the gpstr exam only i am telling you to practice doing this okay so first is write down the points maybe points or maybe keywords whatever you feel is easy okay then you should have these three things in your mind if it is a very big question means if it is a three mark or four mark question then you can divide it into three or four points first write intro then write the main body then write the conclusion but this is not uh, uh, helpful every time in science i don't think this is needed but then if you keep these three points in your mind it will help you in gathering the points what is the intro for that particular question what is the actual detail of that question so what is the particular intro for that question while answering what is the answer how you have to start it that will be your intro main body will be the actual detail of the answer which is required for that particular question and conclusion if it is needed only you can write okay next third tip is you should try and attempt maximum number of questions don't leave any question because you don't have negative marking right so you have to try and attempt maximum number of question but then you put them in the last hmm? and then read and understand the question carefully while reading the question only you should understand the question and you should get to know the points of the answers which you are going to write while reading the question only that points should strike your mind it should be like that you should practice to such extent okay and your handwriting should be neat and readable very very important because see the evaluator who will correct your paper we don't know how is his mood right maybe he is exhausted maybe uh, he has corrected many papers or maybe your paper is the first paper that day morning so if your handwriting is neat and if your answer sheet is easily readable then the evaluator will get impressed by that only then at least he will try to read what you have written okay 
maybe he will give you little more marks also for that because if he can understand your answer properly he will give marks right so these are the tips for the descriptive paper so the moral of the story is that you should practice writing the descriptive answers from now only okay friends i hope that you all will follow me okay i want you all to follow me because see till now you have done what you want right now you try with what i am telling just to try it for few days and see how is your result okay if maybe after doing this you take some old question paper and solve and see how it will be it will be very nice right so these were the tips to how to write a descriptive paper now let me address one very very important issue mentioned by few aspirants this is the fear and anxiety issue ma'am i am able to take more than eligibility marks but in exam hall i had fear and anxiety see friends i have solution to this problem and this is a tested solution i try to follow it myself first is study 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 and study you should study till the extent that even while sleeping also you should answer even in your dreams also you should answer study like that i mean to say by study not mugging up not by hearting i mean to say by understanding by analyzing okay then write whatever you have studied while studying you write then only you will learn the answers okay because see i'll give you an example someone is riding a bike and you are sitting behind him or behind her and you are going to some new place okay and it is a night also next day if anyone ask you to ride the bike and take them to the same place can you take them you cannot take because you are sitting behind you did not notice the road properly and it was night also if you had rided the bike the last night then you would have surely taken them to that place correctly okay the same way the way who will ride the bike will go to the place correctly he will he will or she will know the way correctly same manner it is writing is like riding the bike if you are studying it is like you are sitting behind the driver okay if you are writing it is like you are yourself riding the bike means you will reach to your destination correctly the next day if you will ride the bike today okay maybe first day you will take some time you will use google maps and all that to reach your destination but next day you will go smoothly and perfectly within time you will go and reach your destination writing is like that so friends please believe me learn to write okay next is practice practice and practice when i say write it is like practicing only because practice only will make you perfect and it will only give you confidence okay and by doing all this no don't waste time while doing all this if you are wasting time then you are studying effort writing effort practicing effort effort that all will go down isn't it so if you want to keep that effort up to the mark then you should not waste your time okay and how you do all this you can make short notes you can make formal list it is up to you how you want to make notes you can make notes by points you can make notes as a short notes as a paragraph you can write the formula list and stick it near your bed we used to stick it on the mirror even while brushing no in the morning we used to see it the formula list it is like that it is my experience you decide how you want to make but you have to do it now i want to tell very very important thing what can i do after the exam see this is not only for the people who have not qualified this is also for the people who have qualified the exam what can i do after the exam after the exam maybe you have not done it you can do it after the results no problem you should face the same question paper again and again and you should dare to check your mistakes some people what they do my exam has gone back today they will throw the question paper they will never see it again that is not a good thing to do if you are really a warrior if you really want to fight again then you should know it right you should know your mistakes 
then how will you win the next time without knowing your mistakes you cannot cope up next time you cannot uh, correct your mistakes next time right for that you need lot of guts you need lot of strength that's why i use this word dare face the same question paper again and dare to check your mistakes then only you can achieve it next time don't just throw the question paper or don't avoid seeing that question paper again that question paper should become your bible okay you should see it again again and again and again till the time when you become perfect with that question paper and you should know by heart your mistakes where i have made a mistake why i made this mistake what was i thinking while writing in the exam how could i do this mistake did i not read this part why did i not read this part if i read that part why did i forget it why did i not remember it in the exam you should analyze by yourself this is my experience friends i can also tell you a story it is a personal story i don't know whether i should tell or no but still i am telling because i want to share my experience and make you all one exam was conducted the assistant professor exam kea conducted that exam in march now you will not believe me what happened you know i am surely capable of cracking that exam i am sure i am capable i couldn't do it due to some things actually there was some problem in the exam center i had to face many tensions in the exam center uh, i don't want to get into it but then i was disturbed okay the examiner only he disturbed me a lot there in that exam and two three or uh, two three issues were happened because uh, i got disturbed and i got tensed uh, and uh, i did not do the exam properly now after uh, writing the exam i took the question paper and i sat and i was talking to myself i saw the question paper then i thought that i know that i am capable right then why shouldn't i solve it and again uh, help other aspirants my fellow aspirants so i solved that question paper and i uploaded in this youtube channel only you can go and uh, see those videos are available even now i solved the entire question paper in the first week of the exam i solved it by myself no key came nothing came okay i made few mistakes also i made many friends in that process also many people wrote in the comment section whatever mistakes i made no i corrected them also so i sat and i analyzed the question paper i don't know next time whether they will call for the exam or no or maybe till they will call for the assistant professor professor exam next time my age bar will be there i will not be eligible because of my age also but still i did it because uh, i wanted to learn i have a willing to learn just not writing the exam i wanted to know my mistakes where all i made mistakes why i made mistakes actually that is fun friends so you just go on these steps i told you my personal story also so you are also i believe that many of you have seen your question paper but if you have not seen please do it right now and if you have any problem in the gpstr question paper solving of 2022 gpstr question paper i have solved pcmb all papers i have solved you will find it in this youtube channel only i will give the link also in the description if you want okay so the moral of the story is face the same question paper again and again and dare to check your mistakes okay uh, don't worry whatever your mistakes you have done now you will not do it in the future but then you should know what are your mistakes right uh, this is how your fear and anxiety also will be reduced so i think uh, i told a lot a lot and lot about myself also i told in this video uh, i really believe that whatever i discussed in this video will surely help you all okay friends all the best start working hard and if you have any doubt or if you want me to make uh, any video or lecture on any particular topic you can write in the comment section i will give the gpstr playlist link also in this um, uh, description below this video you can find it so you go and you watch those videos also if you want and then you start practicing then rest whatever it is there i have the telegram channel also you can join the telegram channel you can write to me we have a hstr and gpstr discussion group also in the telegram channel so i'm always there with you all so don't worry okay friends 
all the best thank you bye